Hey everyone, Captain Sean here. Now, just before this review gets started, I wanted to give some quick backstory on this review. Basically, this is a lost review of mine from way back. How way back? It was the second review I ever made. But upon not liking what my finished product looked like years ago, and because YouTube rejected it at the time, I decided to just keep it lost. Simply because I thought it was a review of not the best quality. I felt like I was getting too off track in the review at times, discussing the themes of the movie rather than the story. But upon re-watching this review recently, I realized how I tie discussing the themes of the movie with the actual review of the plot in not such a bad way. So. I am finally releasing this old review of mine. Now I have made some edits to the original review you're about to see, but for the most part I haven't changed that much. I honestly can't say this is my best review, but it doesn't need to be. Either enjoy this somewhat decent review of the movie Matilda, or enjoy seeing what a professional critic in one of his earliest attempts at critiquing really looks like. And so, here's the review. Hello and welcome to Captain's Commentaries. I'm your commentator, Captain Sean. And today we're going to review and discuss the themes found in a classic children's movie, which is called Matilda. Ah yes, Matilda. Now in case anybody's wondering, yes, I'm aware that this did start as a book, but the movie is what I connect more with, so that's what I'm going to talk about. The movie begins focusing on young Matilda's very early life. Her parents never really cared about her, and she's basically forced to take care of herself. Now the way it's portrayed in this movie is very silly and over the top. The thing is though, in our society there are parents that are kinda like this sadly. They may not be as rude as the parent in this movie, but there are sadly way too many parents that are very negligent to their children's needs, which makes Matilda an all too relatable character to many child audiences. The thing that makes Matilda a very appealing character though is, rather than sitting around all day watching TV and playing with toys, she actually goes on a quest to find greater knowledge. Since her parents really don't care about her, she's actually able to find a way to leave the house at a very young age, and she starts going to the library every day. And there she does lots of reading. Lots of reading. I mean, she does lots of reading. Okay, okay, we get it. Books are important. Read, children. Read. Reading is good for you. Okay. The movie made its point. You should read. It makes you smart. Okay, moving on now. So Matilda's father is kind of a slimy car dealer. Matilda realizes this and basically tells her father that, well, what he's doing is wrong. Daddy, you're a crook. What? This is illegal. The thing is, there are parents that do very immoral things and their kids kind of pick up on it. And many kids do question their parents, you know, why are you doing this? This is wrong! And like Matilda's father, they come up with some strange excuse slash reason for why they're doing what they're doing. And as the children continue to point out, hey, mom, dad, this is wrong what you're doing, they just keep acting like this. Listen, you little wiseacre. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. And like the parents, there is also a principle in this story that's very rude and flawed. And while these characters are over the top, one could argue this is a very relatable representation of how some children are talked down to by adults who have no respect for them, since those adults believe children honestly have no rights. Fortunately, there is a really good teacher in this movie. Her name is Miss Honey. She definitely cares about all the children in her care, and she basically stands out in the movie as the only good adult. Now you could say this movie is kind of black and white. There's only good adults and there's only bad adults. The thing is, this movie is sort of told from a child's perspective. And from a child's perspective, the world isn't that gray. To some children, you've got the good guys and you've got the bad guys. And if you look at this movie from a child's perspective, then this movie is actually really insightful. And I really like how this teacher, Miss Honey, really tries to see the beauty in every student, the amazing talents and strengths every student has. And once she finds out that certain students like Matilda have amazing gifts, she really tries to encourage those gifts. And she really tries to encourage them to grow, to be all that they can be. And I really gotta say, there is more realism in this scene where Miss Honey tries to encourage Matilda's parents to have a greater interest in her learning. Mr. Wormwood. If you think watching some rotten TV show is more important than your daughter, then maybe you shouldn't be a parent. Now, yeah, probably no teacher should ever say that to a parent, 
But in a day and age where the majority of parents spend less than 10 minutes a day having conversations with their kids, I'm not lying, it's kind of a harsh truth that needs to be shared. And if this movie really is being told from a child's perspective, it really shows the pain that a child's going through when their parents just don't care. Now going back to the school scenario, I've just got to say, I can really relate to Miss Honey. Yes, I know she's a female character. But the way I relate to her is, I've been in scenarios where I really try to care about the children in my care, I try to give them a learning environment that really works well for them, but then the other adults, the other teachers come in, and they start yelling and screaming about how the children are not standing a certain way, how they're not acting like little adults yet, how children are still acting like children! Now, let me emphasize most child care leaders I know aren't like this, but the thing is, some are. And I think something that a lot of teachers have forgotten, and even parents, is you have to take time to just talk with your children about stuff they care about. You can't make your only discussion with a child about how they should be behaving or the lessons you're trying to teach them. You should just talk to them sometimes about what's going on in their life. It's so sad that this simple given is being forgotten by so many adults today. But luckily in the movie, it's something that Miss Honey has not forgotten. Throughout the movie, she talks to Matilda about her childhood and her life and talks to Matilda about what she cares about. And while walking a child to your house is inappropriate in this day and age, I think more teachers should just go out and talk with their kids sometimes, either at lunch or at recess or before school or after school, and just get to know them. Seriously, teachers, actually get to know your students. I know you're busy. I know you have lots of papers to grade. I know you have lots of lesson plans to write. But seriously, teachers, get to know your students. Well, going back to the movie, Matilda eventually realizes that she can take her inner frustrations about the world around her and turn that into a superpower. I'm being serious. Somehow, Matilda develops telekinesis powers. No, I'm not really sure what the movie is trying to teach us now. Is it trying to show us how every child wishes to manipulate the world around them? Or is it simply tapping into that basic fantasy desire we all have that just with a simple wish, our problems could go away? Honestly, I'm not really sure. But going back to the movie, Matilda uses her powers to put the principal in her place. Now, I really gotta ask, what is Matilda anyway? Is she some girl that's been granted magical fairy powers? Is she some human being who, due to her intelligence, she's been able to tap into a higher plane of existence? Or could she be a mutant? And does this mean she's going to join the X-Men? But anyway, near the end of the movie, Matilda's parents get in trouble with the law, and, well, basically, she's allowed to be adopted by her teacher, Miss Honey. Now, despite the fact that this makes a very nice, happy ending, to me, this is kind of the most unrealistic part of the movie, not counting the magic superpower stuff. I think every child that's born into a family that they don't quite like being a part of wishes they could be adopted by the perfect parent. Thus, the ending of this movie taps into another one of those nice fantasy desires that some children have. Oh, but what the hey, it's a nice ending. They lived happily ever after. And in my opinion, this is more than just a children's movie. If adults watch this movie, it can offer them very interesting insights into how children see adults. And if you look at it from that perspective, Matilda is a very interesting movie. It's not super realistic, but like I said, I don't think that's what the story was trying to be. So go ahead and check it out sometime.